hello and welcome in this video i will show you how you can connect card and mini card and we are going to use share state in the vue.js so it is going to be a complex topic but i will try to put it in a step by step and it should be easy for you in vue.js there is something called share state share state is a data that you can share between two components for example you have the card component here these are all our data and also we have the mini card i did it behind the scene so it shows the same product but if you are in the home page you definitely want the mini cards to, to show here and you want to update the card as you go here so once you update the card there is no button for the update here unless you come to the card and update it now it works just fine for me if i am in the card page and both of them are connected if i am uh, as you can see this is the first product and if i am going to modify the quantity it instantly update both of them together how this is going to work i will show you in, the, in this video First of all, there is two separate view components for this one, view selector. The product page is different, mini card is different. So let's take a look at our code and what we have done. So if I come to the code here, this is my project. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you step by step of what I have done. So if I do it while I'm do recording the video, it will take a long time. I, I have seen like people do not watch long video. That's why I did it and now I want to explain it. First, I have a file called minicard.js which is in the component directory if i open the js it is in the component directory and i also register that one here in the minicard.js here so that's fine so the minicard.js is the same as the card form which we have in the card page here in our page the uh, only difference is here we have as i said shared state I have a store all the data we have here for the store the products as you can see the products they are in one file and both of these components are using that file to update like the, like they are synced together because their data is in one place the data is stored in the shared folder called card data and when i export when i import this one i will import it as a store and let's check out where is that so if i close the component open the shared folder and the card data.js if i open this one this is all we have i have an i export a object here called store and in this store we have a state a state is you can name it whatever you want but this is the vue.js way of naming something a state is where you have your data called card data and it is an array and as soon as someone call this function get card just go to send an ajax request to the card.js get the data and push it to the array here so this will become an array that's why if i come to the card form as i said card form and mini card is the same except they are two different components as, as you can see i have imported the store here and in the data let's check out this one data i have returned a card data here which is an an object and the value of that is coming from the store store.state.card data which we had here this is the data that is going to be storing here and the same data i have stored that in the mini card also so that's why both of these data are, are using the same like uh, functionality and the same things except in mini card I have uh, like on both of them. I have a computed property. Computed property in in Vue.js or something that uh, like change, and you can watch for that. If I'm writing a function called cart here, this will be accessible as like wearable in your file. What this is going to do? This is going to return the first array of our data. Let's check out the example of why I did this way. The sources are, the source code is also available on GitHub, as I said. So if I come to the Vue.js here. We have two components and each component let's check out this one this card data is an object uh, an array and inside this one we have one object why well, i didn't put object directly here it didn't work when you refresh the page because it is going to be using an ajax request and ajax request is also asynchronous so it is not available on the first time that's why i have to use the push in javascript the only way you can store the data in an array is using the push uh, the push is not available on objects that's why if i check out the code again coming to the card data this is what i mean i have to use this push function otherwise if i say card data equal to response it is not going to work it should be an array that is the only way it is going to work so if i come here my card here this is computed property and we have card 
as a function and if I check out the cart template checking the array here if I'm saying cart this cart is referring to a computed property and the same way cart.item is referring to a computed property if I check out my computed property in the cart form here this is the cart here as you can see it is going to return an object that's why I know this is a function but in this is going to return an object so that's why whenever you use a cart I mean a computer property dot item so that's why is this is a computer property check it out it is an object and it is stored all of those information the same way for our other root as you can see the first one is mentioning the mini card if you check out here this is the mini card one and this is the card one so that's why they are using share state and both of them are working just fine as you can see if I increase the amount here or there it is working just fine let's say one if it becomes zero it is going to remove this one from the cart it is not working in this instance if I check out here let's check out yeah when it becomes zero it is going to remove this one because that functionality is not here I will fix that in the next video if you check out if it is less than one it should remove it from both component they are synced together so let's check out some of the functions that exist here in the mini cart.js I have some function called remove item from cart if you check out this function first of all it is going to find the item and then see if it found console.log the found this is just for debugging and then using the delete just find the index of the item and delete this dot dollar sign delete is a function in Vue.js. it can remove an object from a, an item from an object so that is very useful feature of Vue.js. also increment is going to add one to the quantity if it found a decrement is also going to use the decrement how these functions are called if you check out this increment that and uh, decrement here this is calling a function so I will show you an example here as you can see this is the plus one this is the minus one and this is the plus one so if someone click on the minus one it is going to call decrement and it will put the current item in that and if you put the current item it will accept that item it will find that item and it will add one more and this one will minus one so if if that is less than than two which means one like previous time it was one and it is now less than one it will call the function remove and it will pass that item as a remove where is the remove uh, function here is the remove function and it is going to remove that from our object that's it like the, we have the update we have get the cart we don't need the get the cart and stuff like that here because we already defined get the cart and the cart data here once we call this one it's going to fill our data from the cart.js so this should work just fine but here is an issue if i update something let's say seven it's going to say 10 here and if i update this one it's successfully update if i refresh the page it is now available everything here why is that so the reason is when you remove it from here it is not removing it from the cart so that functionality is not done for example if i bring it to one it is fine it is one check it out update yes it is working just fine but that is not removing it from the cart that is what we do in the next video also what if i am in the home page let's check it out do i get an error nope if i open the cart yes it is working but if I increase this one, there is no way to update the card. So in the next video, I will show you an example of how you can send an AJAX request after one second of checking if anything changed here. Just send a request to the server and update this one. So that's what we do in the next video. I know it is going to be a little complex if you don't know much of JavaScript. But this is the only way I can explain how share state is working in Vue.js. So the, just a few more videos remaining. After completing all of this one, I will work on the performance of the website. And we will make it better also. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.